Hi everyone, today I am going to show you how to fully line an alligator clip. This is what it looks like when it's ready to go. I'm going to show you how to do this. This is what they look like on the back of bows and this is just a three inch ribbon basic tux bow and this is a version with tails and this is what they look like without the lining but like I said it's entirely up to you but remember if you're going to think about doing this with all of your bows it is extra labour because it will be more time and obviously it will take you a short amount of time to get used to it but if you have people that obviously say that they have with children with fine hair or if you have fine hair yourself and these clips sometimes fall out this is a good, good option of using this anti-grip anti-slip mat to help you with this like this is why we sometimes do this and if you just didn't want to add the grip and you just wanted to line you can miss that step and like i said it gives a more professional look gives like a more luxury feel to the to the bow so it's entirely up to you whether or not you may ha use this stiff or actually find this useful so like i said it's entirely up to you now i personally use double-sided sticky tape to start my process and on my clip this is a 60 millimeter clip by the way which is six centimeters or two and a half inches put a tiny bit of double-sided tape here and across the top now you can use glue gun but you have to work faster and obviously you can sometimes if you don't work fast you can sometimes get lumps and ridges underneath the ribbon and you wouldn't want not want that now this is 16 centimeters but you can sort of what i do when i'm measuring is get your ribbon go tuck that in there do that and then go backwards and add a little bit and that is how much you need per clip so that's how you work it out okay but we are going to straighten up that end heat seal in the blue clear bit of the lighter we are going to pull our double sided tape off here take this side and we are going to another the other thing is with glue you can't move it around once it's down with the tape you can adjust it to make sure you've got it lined up nicely and then i take this clip and i make sure that that is all the way down in that pocket there and lined up and then i clip that out of the way so that you've got that look and then with our smallest piece again heat seal in the blue clear bit of the flame a little bit of glue and you go that over there and then we're going to bring that through make sure it's nice and tight round wrap it really really tight you don't need quite four centimetres but I just use that amount to make it easier to have enough to wrap it around without being fiddly add your glue pinch that together and then you can move that clip now this will keep this in that pocket without it popping out and creating that loop that you sometimes see okay and then you can peel your double liner or use your glue and go along now with this i'm not going to need quite that much so i can i am going to cut this down just a little bit i'm going to cut that to about there So you want, see, they're, they're about the same length. There we go. And then we have the shelf liner. Now, when you are cutting this, 
this is just a smaller piece so i've cut it down to make it a little bit easier so can you see the rows got a row here of four squares a row here of four squares a roll here of four squares you want to go in rows of three now the idea is is to take your scissors on the third row and right down the center of your squares cut down the middle of that third row and then on your first row full row of squares again cut down those squares so they're halved and you're left with something that looks like this and then you want to take the one that's got a full first full square at the top cut that and then you can work out how much you need by placing it against the ribbon now with this you don't want to go overboard with your glue because like i said you don't want a lot you want enough that it will stick down but you don't want so much that you'll get glue and can see glue all over the you see very very light touch and you want to do this on the top not this side this side as it's facing down and then pinch that in place i'm just going to add my glue dry a little bit there if that ever happens before you're finishing working you can use your lighter to warm it back up rather than adding more glue so there we go so that is what our lined clips look like right now the thing the reason we leave them open and i have another unclipped three inch bow Work out where our centre is. Bit of glue. Decide which way you want it left or right, depending on natural preferences, customer preferences, whether or not you're right handed or left handed, all makes a. We are going to wrap our centre as normal from here, and we're still not going to glue down that side yet. So take that round the middle, round once, pull my tail that way, open, make sure it's lined up over the top. You want to do a nice little twist like you saw on those ones, put your thumb here, twist that over and then bring that round the back. If you've got any extra because you only want about a centimetre over to wrap round. Again, always heat seal. And round as normal. And then from this side, we're going to add a little bit of glue across here. Keep the clip nice and open. And you sort of fold it. And bring it down and then pat it in and there you go you're lined fully lined hair clip hopefully that's useful you've learned something today but like i said don't forget you can just do it as normal you can just use the correct size clip this is a slightly smaller one because this is a two inch ribbon double tux bow told you i've been making easter bows today just a little bit of glue across the back decide which direction you're going to do this one i'm going to do one to the left and i've got another one that i will do to the right for a pigtail set heat seal as normal And you'll notice that unless I am literally doing a design where I need to line the clip, 
I don't. Lining for me is too many steps because I do this to teach and I do this sort of occasionally to give my bows to charity and very occasionally a couple of times a year I sell. So for me it is not something I do on a regular basis because my brain can't handle those extra processes but like I said it's all about personal preferences, it's all about adding to your brand if you want to sell more luxury things like that that's the kind of things that you've got to take into consideration you can sort of pre-line your clips you know if you make specific colors and you know exactly what bows that you're making on a regular basis you could have them ready to go so you could have all these ready to go in the right colors save you some time that way but like i said it is always going to be more in time intensive than just wrapping a clip like this Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.